arthritis of the cervical spine, mid-back, which is the thoracic spine and lumbar spine, uh, causes uh, people pain, especially when they rotate their head for the neck uh, and when they basically twist their spine. So uh, the facets um, allow our spine to be able to move back and forth. If we didn't have joints there, we wouldn't be able to have the motion that we have with our spine. Whenever there's motion, where there, there's a joint, there's cartilage, and cartilage can break down over time. And so arthritis uh, develops wherever there's cartilage, and it's, your spine is not immune to that, your spine can get arthritis as well. The lumbar is probably even more common th than the cervical spine in regards to pain from facet joints. And so the lumbar is a lot bulkier structure, there's bigger vertebrae, there's bigger disc. Um, it's, it's more of your weight is bearing on, on this part of your spine. And the joints are a lot larger in the, the lumbar spine, but they're very uh, close. The orientation is a little bit different, uh, but same thing. Uh, people have pain when they arch back, when they twist, when they uh, even bend forward. So a lot of movement of the spine causes pain from the joints. So facet joint uh, pain, the, the characteristics of that uh, vary. So a lot of people describe sharp pain, stabbing pain. Some people. Uh, uh, say it's a dull, achy pain. So uh, there's various different ways that people describe pain from the joints in the spine. So the location of the pain uh, can vary quite a bit in the facets too, so it does make it a little bit of a diagnostic uh, difficulty trying to figure out exactly where, where that pain is. So it does, that's part of why uh, we put you through the physical examination, try to help and, and also get radiographs and things like that. But uh, there's a diagram here that kind of uh, explains uh, where those, uh, those facets create pain. So in the cervical spine, even into the occipital region, uh, the neck, and even into the shoulder blade, and sometimes into the shoulder and trapezius area. So those are pretty common for the facets. In the lumbar, most of the time it's low back, buttocks, it can go into the back of the thighs. It can even go into the front of the th thighs and the groin. So uh, there's a, a, an array of areas where those facets can refer pain. Once you've determined that you have back pain or neck pain and um, you want to have it evaluated, the appropriate place to go is your primary care physician. Your primary care physician uh, can uh, take you through some of these pr provocative maneuvers. Uh, they can ask questions. They can even get x-rays sometimes and, and find out what they feel is going on. Uh, if, you have, if you have that low back pain, neck pain, they can go ahead and start some analgesics for you. They can also uh, set you up with physical therapy. Physical therapy is gonna really, like I said, it will be the first step, and it's gonna be important to go ahead and get that physical therapy in. Uh, once you see a specialist, say, you, say you're still having pain after the physical therapy, your primary care physician now says, I'm gonna set you up with a physician that uh, specializes in this. Uh, then by the time you get to someone like me, if you've had the physical therapy, if you've tried your anti-inflammatories, we don't have to wait another four to six weeks to go through all that. You, so you've already done that, so then we can actually then start talking about the further treatments such as the medial branch blocks and the facet joint injections.